Hi, thanks for joining us again. It's Marks, and we're in Cl today we're in Clangochlan, and we're going to Adina Sprang Castle. Why don't you join me? Seems like having a new friend. Nice coloured cat. Say hello. Meow. Okay. Well, this is the part I don't really like. Going up this bit. This is a little bit uh, on the steep side. But hey, I'll never got anything once. So don't get on this uh, YouTube channel, we also do reviews. Also uh, posts about Ill Illa mountain walking, fishing, camping and paranormal. So if you're into any of those, why not keep joining us at least twice a week when uh, videos will be going up. Uh, hopefully on a Sunday and a Thursday. Okay, we're at the top of steep bit now. Oh, we've got some sheep. Oh, okay. Here we go. Just take a little bit out of your legs, especially when you haven't done mountain walking for a while, or ill walking. Been trying to build up the business. Because I'm a bit of wind now. I'm a wedding photographer and uh, DJ by trade. Quick view of uh, Clan Gochlan from where we are. And there, in the distance, you'll see a couple of hills, mountains. One's called Clan Tatilio, and I think the other one is on the back end of um, your shoe pass and it's called Mile Vine. I hope I pronounced that right. F A E N. I've been up here a few times, but I've actually noticed this hollowed out tree. I don't know how long it's been there. It looks a bit spooky. So you know you're on the right path to dinner spot castle when you can find this on the left. Right, okay. Up the top of this path, here's where we go through a gate. Takes us to a wide green. Lovely views off there. And then the last leg to the castle. I'll also be uh, using the uh, Altitude app I've got on my phone to actually see how high we are. Up here is an unusual thing, you think it's a bird, that's on a goat post, but it's actually a, a cast iron, I don't know if it's a raven or a crow. I've been here for years, don't know the story behind that. I'll show it you in a second. Yeah, here's that uh, cast iron crow or raven. Don't know what the story is behind him. So, that's the path. Takes us up to the wide green area. And on the last leg, to the castle. So, when we're at the top here, I'll change to the uh, sports camera. But, uh, depending on how your settings are on your computer or, or your settings on your laptop or wherever you're, or you're watching this, it might go a bit more sharper. So, I'll move over onto the onto the sports camera, the 4K Ultra HD. Well, I'm on the sports camera now. We're on the uh, wide green. Okay, so 
Here we go. So I'm on the uh, 4K Ultra HD sports camera now. Looks like the steam train's going today. If you look over towards the back of me, we've got a road that goes up the mountain. Uh, that one at the end uh, takes you up to a place called World's End. Takes you over into Minera and the Coid Poif on the other side of Wrexham. Uh, if you can see the chance to the back, that's uh, overlooking your shoot path. And that there at the mountain is, uh, I think, pronounced as Eslweg or something like that. There's a little village down there called World's End. As you see, there's a castle. Nice wide green area. There's also seat there. Anybody wants to drink? Anybody wants to rest to drink or a sit down? I mean, once we've been down here, we we'll go down here a little bit now, follow the path, and then up a little bit. And the path is quite easy zigzags to the top of the castle. I'll see you halfway up there. Yes, we have a lovely breeze up here today. Give you a quick panoramic view. Well, half a panoramic view anyway, because we've got the castle behind me. We're at the bottom of the actual hill to the castle. See it appearing now. There. That's how far we got to go. And so the path does zigzag, which makes life a lot easier when you're walking. So, shall we do it? Shall we make a start? Shall we? Yeah? Okay, let's do it. Well, I'm looking at the altimeter and about uh, halfway up. According to this, we're 745 feet high. So if you can see that, because of the reflection, well, apparently this didn't span castle was something to do with the uh, ring of steel created by uh, Prince Llewellyn that back in me medieval times, around the 11th, 12th century. Can't be sure on that, but I remember reading it, reading it somewhere. When I used to pass on the A5 years ago, by the Triangle C, when I was a lot younger than where I was now, back in the day, I, I used to look up here and I actually, actually used to think it was a monastery, ruins of a monastery. That's what it looks like from the A5 when you uh, pass through Tangoxen, which is down there, if you can see it. Okay, let's do our next leg up the castle. That's the path we've got to go. A lot easier than what uh, when we've just come up. Look at me, I'm a silly boy as well. Sports camera, I just found out is on full HD, 1080p. Uh, it wasn't on 4K, so, well, does it really matter? A few days ago, I put up uh, a video of the uh, Kirk Viaduct and the tunnel. Now, as you, uh, if you haven't seen it, um, it is actually uh, one I put up a few days ago. Uh, I went into the tunnel, only about 100 metres. Uh, so what I want to do, since I do paranormal stuff as well, if you want me to go down there when it's dark at night, with, with your night vision camera, just let me know in the comments, or leave a like. And I'll go down there about 11 o'clock at night and we'll, we'll see what it's like. So just let me know about that. And if you want me to do it, I will do it. Just let me know. I know there's a few people up here, 
So I will finish it before I can. I didn't, I didn't order it. Here we are, we top of the castle. Here I am, empty bottle, always take it with you. And always make sure, always make sure you plenty of water for these little walks. We nearly blew the bag over then. Okay, I'll just fasten up my camera, camera bag, and we'll start walking down. Apparently according to the altimeter it's 1,000, just over 1,040 feet. Through on the castle arches. Focus it in for you. from a uh, from Clang on the A5. Oh the sun has come out now. That's nice. There you go. If you if there's any also if you uh, anything you want me to do that's in the uh, local vicinity of this area because I'm just starting off the uh, local area just let me know and I'll see about doing it. Like being in a uh, graveyard after midnight to places uh, re or review anything just let me know and I'll uh, see about doing it oh, thank you for joining me on this uh, little out and about uh, adventure to Dennis Brand Castle overlooking Clangland join me for another adventure very soon